Welcome to the Python Crash Course. In this course, I'll teach you key features of Python that are utilized in the real-world projects most often. And we will cover following topics. Base types, like strings or integers. Container types, like lists or dictionaries. Variables assignment, conversions of different types. Comparison and logical operators, if-else conditional statements, functions, loops, and strings formatting. Let's dive in and first you need to verify whether Python is installed on your computer or not. For that please open up any terminal application, on Mac I am using iTerm2, also it's possible to use default terminal application, if you are a Windows user you could use PowerShell or Git Bash for instance. Here in the terminal please type Python dash dash version. If you are on Mac please type Python 3 dash dash version, because there are two different versions of Python available. And in this crash course, we will utilize third version of the Python, this latest one. On Windows or Linux systems, simply type Python dash dash version. Let's check that, and I see that on my computer there is Python 3.9.4 installed and available for use. If you see error command not found, you need to install Python. In order to install Python, please go to python.org slash downloads and download Python for your operating system. It is available for Windows, Linux, Mac OS and others. And after that, please recheck version of the Python. If you see specific version here in this output, you are good to go. Alright, let's get started with Python and in the first part of this course we will use Python Interactive Shell. In order to enter such shell, you need to simply type Python on Windows or Linux and Python 3 on Mac and after that press enter. Interactive Shell was launched and uh, here I see details about specific Python installation, in my case I am using Python 3.9.4 and here is exact version, and also below you see interactive command prompt that consists of three greater than signs. And basically here you could enter any Python commands and Python interpreter will interpret them and produce some result. For instance, let's call print function that will print a result of specific expression to the terminal. And here in those parentheses where we actually call this print function, we could enter let's say string, string hello from python and press enter. And I see hello from python here in this interactive shell. You could also print multiple expressions, for example string abc and number 10 like that. And I get abc and 10 here in the terminal. 